Often, when we're making a figure, we want to be able to compare particular attributes of similar images. And there's a number of ways we can do that in a mirror figure. Let's start by selecting these two images. And I'm going to make these the same size and align them to a grid. So these images both have the same number of channels. And I want to start by comparing the levels of a particular channel. So I'm going to turn off the blue and the red channels so I can just see the green channel in both of these images. If I select one of these uh, images at a time, you'll notice that the, the levels of the three different channels are set to different in both images. I want to compare the levels of the green channel. You'll see that the fact that they're all set to different levels is illustrated by these signs here. But if I move the sliders for one of the channels, now I've got um, these numbers showing up. That means that I've got the levels of that channel the same in both of these panels. Now if I want to see that alongside the other channels, I can copy and paste and in the duplicated panels I can turn back on the other channels. I can also, if I select both of uh, the first image here, I can move to a different Z section and again with this one to choose the best section to illustrate the differences. If I go down to these other images here, I'm going to compare both of these over time. Again, I've selected these two and I can copy and paste and then use the T-slider to move again, making the same change to the time in both of the images so that the, they are directly comparable time points. Again, I've copied and pasted that one and I can move these through time a couple more times. And paste, I'll keep going. Okay, just zoom the figure out a little bit. Bottom here. Okay, now I'm going to select all of the images and I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Again, I'm zooming the same amount in all of the selected panels so that I can still make comparisons of length between the two different images. I've selected all the top ones and I can move those together and I'm going to rotate them all together and do the same with the bottom ones. So again, uh, although the zoom is the same between the top and the bottom panels, um, the rotation is only preserved between the particular same movies. Now I'm just going to move these a little bit to keep them in the centre of the pane. And select all, again I'm keeping them all the same size, the same zoom, and I can just increase the zoom a little bit. There. Okay, so that was a quick overview of how I can 
compare channel intensity, length, and time courses between similar images in a mirror figure. Finally, I'd like to say thank you to the authors of these general cell biology papers who've deposited their image, images in the general cell biology data viewer. Um, that's Porter, 2007, and Wang, 2013. Thanks to them, and thanks for watching.